Hey everybody, welcome to Mountain Ascent. Um, today, before we get into the video, I just wanted to uh, give a shout out to La Cuesa Wallets. Um, it's uh, leather wallets made out of whitetail skin. Um, he's out of Texas and um, about a year and a half ago or so, he started messaging me and uh, started sending, sent me a couple wallets. So just figured I'd uh, show you guys those. Um, he uh, has a code up Mountain Ascent 5 if you want to take 5% off, but uh, this is the uh, unconventional bifold. So he's got two card slots on the inside, room for cash on either side, and uh, two card slots on the outside. And then the one that I use most of the time is called the half rack, and that has um, two card slots on each side, outside, and then the uh, cash slot on the top. Um, I've really liked using that, that half rack. Um, he makes a bunch of different ones. He makes the full conventional ones, the ranch wallets and all that. Um, so anyway, go check him out. And uh, yeah, if you need a wallet or anything, um, use Mountain Ascent 5 code at checkout and uh, get 5% off. And thanks for watching this video. a.m. and we are about two and a half hours three hours from our destination and so we should get there almost in time to do some hunting in the morning right after daylight but yeah we'll probably just kind of ease into it a bit when we get over there trying to video some but the hunting comes first on this trip so it might be a little bit skimpy on the video but I'm gonna try and pull off enough video to make a good video out of it good film so see how it goes anyway I'm gonna sleep I haven't slept at all yet so I had a couple hours to sleep so adios well, it's about 11 o'clock now, and uh, so far, when we're sitting around glassing after we've hiked in, or if we're hiking around just glassing different places, we're pretty much getting skunked. But... Six. He might be that bull from this morning. It's to the left and a ridge down from where that other one was. Just spotted a couple bulls. Five by six and five by five. There's probably more down there. We'll see once. We're gonna get our stuff packed up here and take off and head down this ridge. The wind's kinda going that way and this way, so I wanna get 
get out this ridge a little ways and then so we can see across and see where they are if we can't find them hopefully we'll put a stock on them or something Well, I don't know what we can see on the camera yet or not, but we got to 45, and uh, it was bedded right here. There's this pink spot, and so front end would have been like right here. What happened was the small bull spike, whatever it was, I think it might have been a three point. It was a spike of a three point came up on the other side he must have hurt us or something he was he and uh, hurt us or saw us anyway there was another five point down in here too that one that i videoed earlier and uh, they were both up before him and right about as he started i drew because i figured maybe i'd have a shot and i almost did but he was like facing straight away so i tried to stop him but yeah, it was a good it was a good looking five by six. <laughs> we had the wrong draw. We thought we were coming up over the ridge. So we took our shoes off and dropped them over there. And I had just said something like, ah, oh, man, it's not here. And then I looked down and right there he was, 52 yards when I first ranged him. Stalking in this, in socks. Socks. <laughs> anyway, we got about, ah. Uh, 150 yards back to our boots. Oh, they were still there. He was still in that same exact bed. He was in from about 600 yards away. 
so yeah, I don't know. It was a, it was a close one. But it didn't quite work out. This is fun. We're having fun. Tell you what though. The shoes are back on. The shoes are back in town. <laughs> they have to say this, it feels a lot better. <laughs> yeah. The shoe crazy. Came down here and got to him. Done. But, uh, wow. What a crazy evening. We thought it was pretty much up and the elk were going the other way. And then all of a sudden they started heading down and I was like, let's go. We're going to cut them off. And we got down here and got to them. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, it works out sometimes at the last minute. It was literally probably 20 minutes left to daylight, so that was awesome. Anyway. If you are wondering why we are a couple hundred yards from the bull, it's because we were in haste and could not make good decisions, so <laughs> we uh, dropped our packs and did not know where they were after. <laughs> we got confused on where we shot from because everything looks the same out here. Finally, we found a rub we went right by. And even after we found that, we had dropped down another 30, 40 yards and dropped our packs there. So it still took us a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, what time is it? Well, here he is. He's decent six point, not not huge, nothing huge, but it's my first six point with a bow. So I'll take that and uh, we got we got a little bit confused with our where our packs were and everything, so it took us a while, but. Came over here, found him, took some pictures. Brandon's trying to get some cactus out of his hand. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad day for me. Oh but my. An amazing experience. Yeah, that, fun. that was awesome. Within the last half hour, things just got real and we decided to go for it. And I'm sure glad we did because I mean, it, was, it was fast and furious. It yeah, came. It they came down this ridge and they were on the right side over there and we were on the left side so I was thinking man if we can get you know within 60 70 probably we're going to be looking good and all of a sudden they I could hear them coming they were like right on top of us and I was not in a good position to be that close and uh anyway I was saying 
I was not in a good position to be that close to him. All I had was one little sage bush, and there was, I see horns on the right, the little, one of the little five points or something, rag, rag bull was like 15, 20 yards, I could see him coming, and I see cows over here, the five point, the big five point that was, or the decent five point that we were looking at up top, he was going to be our target bull, because he was the only one that we saw that was a good, decent bull, and uh, he comes out about 35 or so, so I'm just about ready to draw, all of a sudden the cow busts, because she saw me. And uh, right as she starts the bust, I look over and I see a rack, like a big rack. And I'm like, oh, that's, a, that's like a six point. And I stand up and come to full draw and I'm cow calling and he stops. And I was thinking, I had tried to range some places up there. I was pretty sure it was 55, 65, somewhere in there. So I put my 60 on, shot. He reacted with a kick and it looked low to me. And forward so I was like ah I don't know what I don't know what that was exactly he stood on the ridge at like 130 for a while and I could tell he was hurt but I didn't know I didn't think it was really a shot that was gonna put him down so I was like we got to get another shot and it's like 15 minutes before dark probably yeah. <laughs> and it was dark. So dark he goes up over the ridge and I could see him slow down as he hit the top of the ridge so I'm like he's got to be right there so we keep sneaking up keep going up finally we get to the top and i'm peeking over and he all of a sudden takes off at like 20 yards and he's right behind a tree so i step out and luckily he was quartering away enough that i could sneak one in got it right in front of the hip and uh but it was severely quartering so it wasn't gonna do great and um but it buried all the way in and i was like well got another one in him he comes down here in the bottom and stops and down here and then he bedded down right here and uh snuck down over here and finished him so yeah it was a it was a crazy evening but according to from what i was thinking when i first shot and saw the reaction it couldn't have it couldn't have ended any better Absolutely. that's for sure so we're uh, a little bit lucky i'm a little bit lucky got a bull down right here because of the first shot and everything but yeah sometimes it's not always as clean as you want it to be but it didn't take us too long we put him down so got him Yep, so we're going to start butchering, and I think Caleb's on the way in, so uh, we don't have service down here, so we didn't reach him, but we'll see once, hopefully he uh, will be in here, so anyway. Well, Caleb came and got here a while back and has been helping. Um, let me go get mine. Thanks, dude. I know I have a big one. You're welcome. <laughs> We were just dissecting a little bit. I hit him about forward. About the right height. Not Barely quite. that, though. It's right tight yeah. to the shoulder bone. The bone's right here. So right on the V. Quartering away a little bit because it came out like yeah. right here. So quartering away six it inches killed. back would have been a Six inches shot. back, I would have just killed him one yeah. shot. Yeah. 60. I, I'm pretty sure he was right at 60. I, I knew I had ranged something up there close to him at 60, and I just it up, shot, and I'm a little forward. Yeah, we should be done. Get out of here and get some food. Yeah, we should be done here by 10, and then pack yeah. out by 11. It's gonna take us a little while to get it, get it out of here. But. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, what are we? We said 1.3 miles. Is that? And that's your hike. Career. That's your hiking miles. Yeah, it's okay. like right at a mile straight through. Okay. Nice. And it's, I mean, it's some up and About down, 4, but it's... 4,000 feet elevation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the truth. <laughs> the terrain we've been hunting is super legit steep. Yeah. Anyway. Instead of 62 vertical miles, it's actually 6.2 vertical miles okay, to get yeah. out of here. We're going to gritty this up, huh? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay. Alrighty. Well, let's get this thing done and pack it out. this guy back to the truck it's uh it's just an amazing feeling it's my first ever six by six with a bow and my best bull ever I, uh, 
day started out pretty crappy. My starter in my truck went out. Truck wouldn't start. Luckily, Caleb and Brandon are here. Have another vehicle. So, yep. So we're gonna, we're gonna be close to the truck here soon. Get this in there. Go back, get in a good night's sleep, and I'll pack the rest tomorrow. It's about 11.30 p.m. and we we're almost to the truck. Made it back. Beautiful. Let's go Brandon. Too bad he uh, put his hand right in the cactus right as I was about to shoot or else he would have maybe got a shot. Yeah, it's just the way, it, the way we roll. Cactus is all day long. <laughs> oh man, that was too bad. Glad it's over. Yeah. yeah. I'm feeling great right now. I feel like I could run back <laughs> there again, but I'm sure that feeling will wear off here in a second. <laughs> First real heavy pack of the year here for me. <clears throat> Heavier than mine. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. 